Welcome to my next video in learning this Chaosolator Pro by Korg. My first video showed me receiving this, unpackaging it. My second video showed just a little bit of how it comes, what's in these banks and various things. Now this video, uh, I just want to, again, further build on what I already know, which is very limited, and I'm progressing by learning from a forum, learning a bit from YouTube, and just asking questions around. Now in the first video I showed that I've got this plugged in to this speaker system here. Now I've got a little, uh, like a little dusty, so like a soft microfiber cloth. Now I've got this for cleaning this. So just taking grease and dirt off and just generally keeping it pretty clean and tidy. So I'll just shove that back in there. So convenient storage pouch. Um, now in my very first video I showed you this that came it didn't look like the proper size it's just slightly short yeah a little slightly shy of the full size of the screen but anyway this tab on here it was actually a self adhesive piece so I kept that just to show you now I've put it on the screen here I cleaned the screen off first and then I, I laid this down there's like a tiny little bubble left in the middle there which is fairly convenient to give me a mark for the center of that screen now what I want to cover today, uh, let me just boot it up, I switch on at the back there, just takes a few seconds to boot up, in the meantime I just want to show you, on the back it's talked about some some like grounding screw, I don't know if you can see this, I think that's the screw there they're talking about, now what, that, what that's really saying is if there's any static electricity build up on here and your hand's touching like the metal case, sometimes you might get a bit of a static shock. And if it's a few times, it can become quite irritating. Well, so far, I haven't experienced that. But under different circumstances, you might, you know, uh, if you're in a certain electronic magnetic, fi magnetic field, uh, other electrical equipment. I don't know. I don't really know what causes it totally. But anyway, what I've got around here, I'll just show you the, the kind of um, cluttered mess that I'm here. I've got my laptop. In fact, I've got an old spare one underneath it. So I've got electrical gadgets all around. I've got my keyboard. Um, not like a printer there, various other bits and bobs, bit of a mess actually, look at all, need to tidy it all up, that's a, a Boss 8-track record, recorder, uh, just a bit of a stereo up there, so let me just go back to this, just wanted to show you the environment in which I work, so uh, when, it, when you load it up it just comes up with the first one, lead triple zero, remember it okay now what I want to talk about is well actually getting into this damn thing and recording stuff now these these here have come pre-programmed in but they're obviously changeable to put in what you want so if you remember just to remind the lead acoustic bass for C for chords S for special effects D for drums P for pre-programmed rhythm and now that's actually it looks like a U but it's a V and V for the vocoder uh, FX so that's a correction on my second video. Somebody uh, helped me out with that one. Just kind of corrected me. Let me just move this out of there. Okay, so um, let's let's talk about recording onto these buttons and what you can do and what you can't do and things. So first thing I'm going to consider is beats. How many beats do I want? How many bars is it going to do? Well, the maximum bars this down thing does is four bars which is, if you think of four beats in a bar, four times four is 16. That's the maximum length of a loop it can do. And it will only do that over 108 uh, BPM. That's beats per minute. Anything under that, it will only do eight. So that's uh, eight beats per bar. So eight, bar, uh, eight beats, that's two bars. Two bars of four, four. Okay, um, I don't want to fox you with that. It'll become apparent as we go on. Now, of course, you've got to remember, I'm learning this thing. In the context of how you use it in terms of these beats, I'm not completely sure. So my discovery will be your discovery too. So let's have a look. I want to go on to, I want to find that P for program. That's drums. Let's go pre-programmed. I've seen a few people on YouTube using this. Let's go to 167 and have a listen to it. Sounds pretty good, this. Let me turn volume up a bit so you can hear it. 
turn the volume up on the headphone one or that program one, whichever one you want. Of course, if you've got your headphones plugged in here, it's going to be loud in your ears. So two ways of controlling it. Now, if I put this gate arpeggiator on that tapping thing, don't really do much to me. I don't really like that. So I'm going to turn that off. Yeah, so let's have a recording of that, shall we? Um, now, what's it set at? Is it is it 4 beats, 8 beats, or 16 beats? I don't know how many bars it's going to do for me. Uh, now, in all honesty, I'm not sure how to really check that, so I need to go look back in the in instruction booklet. But what I do know, what I've seen, if somebody press for record here, I'm going to press this first loop bank button down here, and I'm going to keep my finger on it, it's going to turn red, ready for recording. And it'll record as soon as I press the screen, but in between, it's going to show me up here what beats it's kind of set to. And I am able to change that. So if I press that, it's set to 8. Now I'm keeping my finger on, it's not turned red yet until I press that. Let me just turn that. Hmm, it hasn't done anything. It's just gone back to the program. Let me do it again. No, it's not doing anything. Okay. Right, um, 8. What if I press shift and then turn it? No, it hasn't done anything. Okay, sorry about that. Right, I'll have to look that up. Again, it's part of the learning curve. So I'm going to press A, I've got my finger on pressing down A, so listen, and it's going to record. It's going to start off on 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm going to press it again just to mute it. You notice there. When I did the eight beats, if we say this piece of paper represents eight beats, one, two, three, four. Sorry, if it represents eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I actually went beyond the eight. So what it did, it, it recorded what I put on there, but it did a little bit at the beginning. It kind of overlapped the next loop, which is, is itself. So I want to delete that. Let's press it to play. Yep, and I'm going to press Erase Loop, and I'm going to press the A again. Now that should change in a minute, and that should change. Watch, that'll flash, and that's turned yellow. So it means it's deleted it, and I can knock that off now. So let's have another go. Let's have a listen to it. This is just listening, I'm not recording. So I can mess about with it too. So I'm going to press the A down again. And it's going to record. Now is it going to come in on the first beat? Or is it going to come in on like 4 or 5? So we don't know. We're going to have to look out for it. Right, I'm pressing it now. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. Both, I took both fingers off. Off the pad and off the bank, loop bank button at the same time. So I've got it pretty accurate there. You can hear it. 1, 2, 3... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can mute it. Play it again. So that's just playing back. Let me just check my time. Eight minutes. Right, I've muted it. Now I want to go on to. Let me have a listen to. Um, no, we don't want a bass. Acoustic. Let's have a listen to acoustic 14. I'm not recording anything. Let's turn it to a different one. Acoustic 43. Okay, yeah, that'll do. We're just going to put something in here. So again, if I... I can play this and just listen to that without recording it. So, how will it sound overlapped? Okay, that's an example. So, I'm going to press it now to record it. I want to see if it comes in on the first beat. Two, three, like six for the eight. Watch. Watch for it coming here. Five, six, seven, eight. Off. Now that's both them layers playing at the same time now. I can mute them. Play them. Mute it. Let's have a look at... That's drums. Uh, yeah, let's have a go at that. So let's play it and listen. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? So now I'm going to press the A to record. Let's see where we're coming on the 8. 